Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. In the last episode, we started our work on mission number four here on the Isla Takanya Research Facility for Dr. Wu, uh, which involved first creating an Indominus Rex that has the active camouflage capability. So, there she is. Very nice. I like the, uh, the vibrant, I think is what this is. No, rainforest. All the purple stripes there. And then with that done, now... He wants us to create an Indoraptor. Which I think going to be putting in its own enclosure, at least for now. And that enclosure is going to be over here, which is what I worked on building last episode as well. So that is ready. And Indoraptor is in the oven at 81% until it's ready. We should probably go ahead and get our uh, feeders in here because I don't think I have any yet. Uh, there's our feeder there and goat feeder which I'll just put over here right next to the the door because the goat will as usual just wander around ah a ceratosaurus I can't quite remember why I was incubating a Ceratosaurus. I think I was going to let the Indo uh, the Indominus Rex kill it. Evidently, I'm blanking on why that was happening. Just a moment. Okay, yes, it does look like the plan was to uh, feed the Ceratosaurus to the Indominus Rex for combat infamy. So let's go ahead and just release that, and then. Uh, See how that goes. And it looks like the Indominus, the Indoraptor, is ready for release. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome a Ceratosaurus to the park. That Ceratosaurus shouldn't last long. Yep, here we go. Look how small that looks next to the Indominus Rex. And there it goes. Oh. 
en route to pick up the asset. All right, get rid of it. Open the shelters. Because I do not know what is going to happen when I release this Indoraptor. <laughs> These people here are just like, oh, whatever. They finally realize that something's going on. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and release. Now that you can create hybrids, this next task shouldn't be a problem for you. Create a Spino Raptor and get it into combat. I needed to have the rating I've set forth in the files. Get to it. It feels like we're recreating Dr. Wu's greatest hits here. <laughs> I know better than to ask why. Okay. A Spino Raptor and to put it in combat. Oh, oh. Ooh. All right. Well, so far, it looks like it's fine. All right, close the shelters. And as far as grassland, forest, wetland, population, everything is fine here. All right, good. Now, do they want me to put the Spinal Raptor into combat with anything specific? Okay, well, what is the rating that I have here? Ninety-two forty-five attack and defense. Spino Raptor is going to have one hundred and thirty-nine attack. And 46 defense. It will eat fish. Hmm. Or should I put it in here? One sixteen thirty four. The Spino Raptor would be able to beat either of these two. Oh well, let's go ahead and release it. Uh, probably means we'll need to put some more wetland in here because it is a Spinosaurus. Well, at least it has Spinosaurus in it. And it killed another goat, and then took a nap. Which is fine. Fish feeder there. And 
We are almost to five stars. We just need to hit that rating target. Incubation failed. Oh! Right. It would, wouldn't it? This is set for speed, non success rate. Uh. Yeah. Uh, success rate. This thing's what? Negative six. Ah. Oh. Well, we'll just give it a minute. There we are. Try that again. Hmm. I think is there anything that I can put in that enclosure to go with the Indominus Rex? Sugamimus wouldn't cut it. I could throw some Herrerasaurus in there. Because it those are fine by themselves. Has an overall rating of 159. It is a thought. And just see if it can coexist with the Indominus. We'll see. Just need a little bit more cash. Need 1.3 million. We're bringing in 400,000 per minute. So that shouldn't take too long. And I really only need the park to have five stars for like a second. Just to get the unlock. Oh, fear needs resupply. Okay. Well, we might as well have Ranger team take care of all of those feeders.
So, what is your rating? 378. Plus 59 for the combat infamy. Alright, you're at 46%. And this just started. Alright then. Disease contracted. Who? Where? Oh, of course it's you. Alright, well, ACU helicopter is going to be the plan there. Yeah, yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. Can't be low bacteria. That's taken care of. So we just wait. Rarosaurus. Oh, now it's finally uh, getting to be daytime. Where's the Indoraptor? Because I don't think I, we've seen that yet in full sun. It's got that bright kind of purple stripe there. Playing around in the water. Alright. What I actually like to do is release the Herrerasaurus first. Because what's the number I need to hit? I need um, just over 400 more rating. Okay. So you're going to provide 159 rating. And then you are going to provide. 404 rating. That should hopefully be enough. Because facilities at five stars, we just need the rating target. Alright, you're ready to go. And you're ready to go. Let's release the Herrerasaurus. Because it should be fine by itself.
Hopefully the Indominus Rex will leave it alone. Or... We'll see. If it ends up dead, it ends up dead. Alright, let's release the Spinal Raptor. Okay, hold on. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Because I need them up to different combat infamy levels. Okay, well, uh, AC helicopter. Uh, get over there and um, knock them both out before they kill each other, please. Which, all I really need to do is feed the Indominus Rex another Ceratosaurus. And it will be fine. Okay. Spinosaurus is down. Or Spinoraptor is down. Okay, what I'm going to want to do here is this. I'm going to re expand this enclosure. Hold on. And then take electrified heavy steel. Split the enclosure down the middle. Alright, let's remove... Remove some of these trees here. Let's move those trees to the back. Transport Mr. Indoraptor over there. Put a door here. Give a live bait feeder over there. some of these trees, uh, extend kind of some of the wetland area there. Uh, the Indo uh, the Spino Raptor up. Okay, you're fine there. Asset being transported. Now, what I probably will want to do is Asset has been transported. Add a viewing gallery. 
there. Release that Ceratosaurus. All right, Spinoraptor, you are fine, good. Put in a viewing gallery here. A tower. Uh, get rid of the trees in front of it. Yeah, you can do it with a little less forest. That's fine. And then what you're going to want over here is going to be a fast food place and a gift shop. And there goes the Ceratosaurus. And... A restroom. to succeed against the odds and succeed you have you and I might have more in common than it first appeared all right improve construction 3.0 global operations five star part excellent All right, so Indominus is up to 100 combat infamy. And it seems like it's fine in there with the Herrerasaurus. Good. So what do I want to feed to the Spinoraptor? Spinoraptor, 139.46. Something that has a T-Rex? An unmodified T-Rex. No, I wouldn't fight that, I don't think. Unmodified Indoraptor?
Herrerasaurus. It would need to be something that actually has a decent rating, because otherwise... It's gonna be too much of a pain in the butt. Can I get the Herrerasaurus up to 200 rating? Let's see what I can do. No, that just affects habitat, not rating. I think it's at its maximum rating at this point. Uh, no, but if I can't get it over 200, then it doesn't really matter. So we'll just go ahead and incubate like a couple of those. And that should take care of the Spinoraptor. And as for Indoraptor... You're classified as a large carnivore. Interesting. You're classified as a large piscivore. So maybe you actually will fight something large. Hmm. Hold on. Cancel those, uh... Cancel those incubations. Let's let's throw that unmodified T-Rex in there and let's just see what happens. It does like hunting the goats. Is there anything over here? You only have a star rating of 48. One fourteen, one fifty five, sixty seven, sixty with a ninety two. I think an unmodified Stegoceratops might be useful. Let's take that one over there. Because you are also a large piscivore. Oh, we're actually kind of toward the end of the episode here. Alright, well, let's transport that over there and let's see what happens. But, well, then I'll have to wait for next episode. So we'll go ahead and stop here for now. Alright, so, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.